Hi everybody, welcome inside the magnificent Merrill Center in Katy for the second half of our Saturday doubleheader. Earlier today, the Elkins Knights took out Houston Heights 55 to 45, and right now it's at halftime as the Ridgepoint boys trail Side Creek by a score of 28 to 24. I'm Roger Smith. This is VipeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. Our VipeFortBend.com presentation of UIL basketball playoffs is brought to you by Xfinity. With the X1 Sports app, get up-to-the-minute scores, stats, and standings right on your TV. Change the way you experience TV with Xfinity X1. And by First Tire and Automotive. Make sure your vehicles are in shape for the winter. First Tire and Automotive has locations in First Colony, Greatwood, Katy Cinco Ranch, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. And all four of those locations are open on Saturdays. For the best prices on tires, go to firsttireandauto.com. We'll take a quick break and wrap up how the first half went, you know, before we got here. And then tell you about some other games that are occurring today and how they are affecting our heroes from Fort Bend. We'll be right back on VipeFortBend.com. Again, the halftime score, Side Creek 28 and the Ridge Point Boys 24. We'll be right back. From first Sunday to Friday after next, Selma to South Central, the beauty shop to the Players Club, we have been Fresh Princes and Bats, Airmen and All-Stars, Players and Presidents. And each and every story is beautifully black, no matter the hue, shade, or tone, because these stories are all our stories. Introducing the Black Experience on Xfinity. It's a new channel, a first of its kind where you choose what's on. So it starts whenever you're ready and it's endorsed by the African American Film Critics Association. It's a place where you can go to learn, to laugh, to educate and uplift. To launch your new experience, just say Black Experience into your Xfinity Voice Remote to instantly enjoy the ultimate in Black entertainment anytime. The Black Experience Channel is the new place to experience our stories only on Xfinity. Restrictions apply not available in all areas requires Xfinity TV with X1. First Tire and Automotive is giving you the chance to say the F word and not get in trouble. What? Yes, the F word as in free. Free alignment with the purchase of four tires or a free air filter with the purchase of a synthetic oil change. Check the website at firsttireandauto.com for all the details and up to 25% off fluid maintenance services. First Tire and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Bite Sports, is there to make sure your ride is safe to and from practice and the games. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the UIL Boys State Basketball Championships coming up in San Antonio on March the 13th. 
For more information, visit UILTexas.org. Well, thanks to what happened earlier today, the Elkins Knights beating Houston Heights. The Elkins Knights have a chance to go to San Antonio and be part of that state championship on March 13th. And so too do the Ridgepoint Panthers, but they are down at halftime by a score of 28 to 24. And by the way, Ridgepoint would not play against Elkins in the next round if the Panthers can get the win in the second half here today against Cy Creek. It would be the Elkins Knights taking on the Summer Creek Bulldogs who upset Shadow Creek earlier today by a score of 68 to 59. And so the Ridgepoint Panthers trying to make their way into the next round where they would play Atascacita. And that would be in the semifinal round of Region 3-6A. So in the first half of this ball game for your Ridgepoint Panthers, Luis Rodriguez led the way with 10 points, nine points for Caleb Hill and, and Matthew Lewis had two for Cy Creek. They earned their 28 to 24 lead. Jalen Salzman with six points. Five for Damian Richards, three for Jalen Weisinger, and two points each for Corey Hadnot and Thurston Ashford. So here we go from the magnificent Merrill Center in Katy, and the Ridgepoint Panthers will get the ball first to start this second half, and they will be moving the ball from right to left. Terrence Plowden, the head coach of the Panthers. He's looking really good today. Got on a gray suit with a dark purple dress shirt underneath and a purple pattern tie underneath. All right, here we go. Reggie Prudhomme receives the inbounds pass from Luis Rodriguez to start the second half. Reggie moves into the free throw circle, launches a two. It's short, no good, but Ridge Pellant runs down the rebound with Caleb Hill. And Hill looking inside to Colby Granger, gets inside on his man, puts one up, and he misses the shot, but Corey had not fouled him. And that will mean free throws for Colby Granger. We'll give you some information, tell you as much as we can about Cy Creek as we move along here. First of all, they are 21 and three on the season overall. 14-0 in District 17-6A. They were the top seed ahead of a memorial, which finished second at 10 and four as Granger hits free throw number one. That makes it 28 to 25. And Cy Creek has a lot of common opponents with the Ridgepoint Panthers as Granger hits both free throws and it's 28-26. Earlier this week, right here at the Merrill Center, Cy Creek took out Travis, the number one seed in District 26A. That's one of the common opponents. All right, Damian Richards into the forecourt, gets the ball over there to Jalen Weisinger. They send it into the left corner for Corey Hadnot. Now it's back to Richards, launches a three, and it's good. 31 to 26, Cy Creek on top. Quickly into the forecourt, Luis Rodriguez gets it back to Granger. Now Caleb Hill drives between two defenders, scoops it up from the left side, and good off the window. It's 31 to 28, Ridgepoint trailing by three. Now Damian Richards is playing catch back and forth with Jalen Weisinger. Ridgepoint has not pressed thus far in the third quarter. Weisinger holds the ball over his head, now gets it to Hadnot on the right wing. Top of the key, there goes Weisinger. Can't find his way to the hoop as he meets a double team. Now across court to the near side on, in the hands of Hadnot. Hadnot trying to make a move on Prudhomme. Reggie staying with him. Damian Richards, guarded by Rodriguez, drives up to the free throw line, leaves the ball behind. Caleb Hill with the steal. Here goes Caleb, and he pulls up and shoots the two-pointer. It's long, no good, rebound Granger. Gets the ball to Prudhomme behind the three-point arc. Now into Granger. Now Matthew Lewis, three-pointer from the right corner, and it's good. We are tied, 31 all. Matthew Lewis. He's got five points in the game. Richards playing catch side to side with Weisinger. Now they get it into the forecourt. Ridgepoint not playing aggressive defense at this point. Richards looking for a pick, Prudhomme follows him. Weisinger between the feet dribble, trying to get loose, now launches a three on the way, back iron no good, but the rebound grabbed by Hilton Harris. And he kicks it back out to Weisinger and they set up the offense again. And there's a deflected pass, 
Ridgepoint playing tough defense. Had not three from the left corner, in and out, no good. Rebound, Ridgepoint. Caleb Hill grabbed it. He's pushing it up the middle of the floor. No pressure right now by Cy Creek. Rodriguez on the right wing. Started to give it to Hill, but wanted to make sure he didn't throw it away. Hilton Harris shadowing Hill closely. Matthew Lewis drives the left baseline. Floater with the right hand, no good, but Granger. Oh, a tough luck put back try. It just rolled off. It's still 31 all, and now Cy Creek has it back. Damian Richards, the fabulous sophomore who wears the compression sleeve on the right leg only. Guarded by Rodriguez right in front of our table here at the Magnificent Merrill Center. Richards now picked up by Hill and Rodriguez kills his dribble. Throws one over here to Thurston Ashford. Ashford is now dribbling to the left block and cannot get there. Now he reroutes himself and it's a backdoor layup. No good. Ball tapped out of bounds and it belongs to Ridgepoint. That was a miss by Hilton Harris and in the fight for the rebound, one of the Side Creek players knocked it beyond the boundary. And Ridgepoint in a 31 all game with a chance to take the lead. Ashford picks up Prudhomme. And now there is a blocking foul called on Cy Creek. Actually, it's a player control foul on Ridgepoint. Richards ended up on the floor. And the foul was called on Caleb Hill. That's his second. Not a fast paced game but really these slow paced games where they walk it up and then they get into the half court offense. Those are the kind that can be really nervous games to watch. All right, into the four court. Damian Richards drives into the paint and he knocks Granger down. It's an offensive foul on Damian Richards. Great job by Colby Granger, setting his feet, holding his ground, taking the charge. Prudhomme takes the inbounds pass from Rodriguez. We're at the halfway point of the third quarter, 31 all, Ridgepoint. In this regional quarterfinal game, trying to get to the regional semifinal next week, and they would take on Atascacita, which was a one-point winner today over Pearland Dawson. The ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Cy Creek, and there's going to be a substitution. We got Jalen Salsman coming in. He's got six points in the game already. And Damian Richards leaves. Richards looking a little bit tired. Now Rodriguez inbounds it to Matthew Hill. Matthew Lewis, rather, top of the key. Now there's a steal. Hill almost gets it back, but it's off one of the knees of a Side Creek player, Braylon Haynes, who came in at the last break. Almost made a steal, but he inadvertently kicked the ball down the floor. And it came in hot among the Cy Creek cheerleaders at the north end. Prudhomme brings it across the timeline for Ridgepoint. Now to Hill, around the perimeter to the left side they go. Rodriguez holding the ball, has not dribbled yet. Looking inside, now gets it to Matthew Lewis. Back to Hill, thinks about the three behind the back dribble to try and get away from the defender. It doesn't work. Now he gives the ball up to Rodriguez, and now Hill gets it back right in front of head coach Terrence Plowden, who's giving instructions. Now on the left wing, it is Prudhomme holding the ball over his head. Looking inside, lob pass, gets it to Granger. Granger to Rodriguez, cannot find the shot that he wants. Now drives inside the arc, puts up a two, and it's good. The Panthers have the lead, 33-31. to 3.14 to go in the third. Weisinger walking it up. And a cross-court pass. Reggie Prudhomme close on Hadnot. Now Hadnot has the ball back after he sent it over to Weisinger. Rodriguez playing relentless defense. Now they get the ball to Jalen Salzman on the left side. Side Creek just taking their time on offense, not forcing anything. Weisinger, fancy dribbling to get away, kicks it back out to Salzman for a three that's no good. And the rebound to Hill for Ridgepoint. Almost lost his balance along the baseline, but now he writes himself and sends it into the forecourt to Reggie Prudhomme. Now Hill has it back. Rodriguez and the Ridgepoint offense kind of doing the same thing. Entry pass to Granger, quick turnaround, no good, but Prudhomme there for the follow. And it's a four point lead for Ridgepoint, 35 to 31. So Ridgepoint has outscored Side Creek 
here in this third quarter to take the lead. We're nearing the two minute mark in the period. Had not has it. Rodriguez on him. Had not sends it back to Salzman between the rings. Now over on the other side, it's Thurston to Ashford. And he gives it to Had not. Launches a three right wing. That's good. Cuts the lead to 35 to 34. And a timeout is called. We'll take it with him. This is VipeFortBend.com. From first Sunday to Friday after next, Selma to South Central, the beauty shop to the Players Club, we have been Fresh Princes and Baps, Airmen and All-Stars, Players and Presidents. And each and every story is beautifully black, no matter the hue, shade, or tone, because these stories are all our stories. Introducing the Black Experience on Xfinity. It's a new channel, a first of its kind where you choose what's on. So it starts whenever you're ready and it's endorsed by the African American Film Critics Association. It's a place where you can go to learn, to laugh, to educate and uplift. To launch your new experience, just say Black Experience into your Xfinity voice remote to instantly enjoy the ultimate in Black entertainment anytime. The Black Experience channel is the new place to experience our stories, only on Xfinity. Restrictions apply, not available in all areas, requires Xfinity TV with X1. The Ridgepoint Panthers had trailed 28 to 24 at halftime, but an 11 to three run to start the third quarter, put them up by four. And Side Creek has just hit a three to make it a one point game. Ridgepoint 35, Side Creek 34. This Side Creek team that defeated Travis on Wednesday night, eliminating the Tigers from the playoffs. Now a little bit of pressure in the backcourt by Side Creek, but Ridgepoint is handling it. Hill walks it across the line and had not with a near steal and he knocked a chair over. You know, this is a good time to have tables spaced out here at the Merrill Center, you know, spacing and all, because otherwise he would have knocked a table over and not just a chair. Okay, so it's still Ridge Point ball leading by one. Caleb Hill right wing, guarded by Salzman, gets it to Matthew Lewis, top of the key. And they call him for traveling. He was gonna get a little shovel pass to Prudhomme and the officials rule that he shuffled both of his feet. Shuffling just one would be okay. 1.30 to go in the third. 35-34 Ridgepoint. Had not to inbound to Weisinger. Weisinger walking it up. Beats that 10 second time limit. Now had not on the left wing. Over in the deep left corner at Salzman. His three pointer is no good. And the rebound grabbed by Ashford. He tries to get it back up, but he sends it back out to Weisinger. Now it's had not from in close. His shot from about eight feet just rolls out. Granger has the ball. Gets it to Hill, the best ball handler on the floor right now for Ridgepoint. Gets it across the timeline and gives to Prudhomme. Now Rodriguez on the left wing, too far from the basket to shoot. And had not is right in his face anyway. There goes Prudhomme, gets a pick from Lewis. Reggie to the rack. Off the glass, no good ball, saved by Weisinger. Just inches short of the baseline. And now Cy Creek will try to get the lead back right here, trailing 35-34. We've got 35 seconds to go in this third quarter. Weisinger calls out regular, whatever that means, and now he's just holding the ball against his hip, not dribbling, not doing anything. And it's quiet enough here inside the Merrill Center where he can just talk to his teammates. And nothing going on here, 15 seconds. When will Weisinger put the ball in motion? Starts to move with 10 seconds to go, it's down to eight. He's still a long way from the basket between the rings, moves to his right, Rodriguez on him. And there's a shot from beyond the free throw line, not even close by Thurston Ashford. Deliberate and wonderful defense by the Ridgepoint Panthers who take a one point lead into the fourth quarter. We'll step aside and be back. This is VipeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive is giving you the chance to say the F word and not get in trouble. What? Yes, the F word as in free. 
Free alignment with the purchase of four tires or a free air filter with the purchase of a synthetic oil change. Check the website at firsttireandauto.com for all the details and up to 25% off fluid maintenance services. First Tire and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Bike Sports, is there to make sure your ride is safe to and from practice and the games. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugar Land and Cinco Ranch. All stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Both Ridgepoint and Side Creek playing very well in these playoffs coming into this matchup today. Ridgepoint with a surprisingly easy 71-42 win over Bel Air in their last playoff game. And we talked about common opponents earlier. Side Creek has beaten Travis twice, 66-63 on November 17th. And again, this past Wednesday by 20, Side Creek lost to Elkins, 62-58. That was back on November 24th. Knights, by the way, still alive in the playoffs after beating Heights this afternoon on VibeFortBend.com. And Side Creek lost to Bush, 69-55 on December 1st. All right, Weisinger dribbling, throws the ball to Hadnot. No defender close to either of those players. They're just playing catch. It is 35-34 Ridgepoint as we start this fourth quarter. Hadnot guarded by Lewis, moves to the left elbow, gets rid of the ball to Ashford. Ashford moves toward the paint, and now there's Damian Richards with a long three. No good, Matthew Lewis grabs the rebound. Gets the ball to Rodriguez. Playing careful, keep away in the backcourt, and now Cy Creek backs off. No full court press on this ridge point possession. Lewis kills his dribble, gets it to Prudhomme. He's dribbling between the rings. Now it's Colby Granger, a long way from the hoop on the right wing. Guarded by Salsman. Now Lewis launches the three, top of the key. No good, but it's Rodriguez who runs down the long board. And Ridge Point still has it. We're down to seven minutes to go in regulation time. Rodriguez, guarded by Richards, gets the ball to Hill. He is very close to the midcourt line. Just taking their time. Watch out. Don't want a five second call. There's Prudhomme open on the right wing, but quickly guarded by Ashford. Gets the ball back to Hill. Both teams spreading it out and taking their time, being very selective about shots. There is Prudhomme in the left corner. Kills his dribble, throws a pass to Lewis. Free throw line, elbow jumper in and out. Good, no good, and a tip in is good. Colby Granger with the tip in, and it's a three point Ridge Point lead, 37-34. Four points for Colby on the night, but he's gotten a lot of big, big rebounds. Rodriguez leading Ridge Point with 12 points. It is Weisinger guarded by Hill. Moves toward the top of the key. And now Hill almost takes it away, but the ball goes out of bounds. Great defense. Almost led to a clean turnover. Weisinger right in front of our table. 5.59 to go in the game. Two minutes gone in this fourth quarter, and Ridgepoint has the three-point lead, 37-34. Now the ball in the hands of Damian Richards right in front of his head coach. He's listening to the instructions and having a conversation with him. Now he starts to make a move near the top of the key. Still a long wing from the hoop. Lewis on Richards, trying to stay with him, and then he gives it off, and a shot inside. No good by Braylon Haynes, but he runs down the rebound after his miss. And Side Creek. Can attack again. Weisinger between the feet dribble. Moves to his left. Rodriguez picks him up at the top of the key. He kills it at the left elbow and sends it back out to Ashford. Now it is Hadnot making a spin move near the elbow. And Ridgepoint diving for the ball. It went out of bounds and it still belongs to Side Creek. But Ridgepoint playing good, strong harassment defense. We've got a timeout with 5.15 to go taken by Cy Creek and we'll take it with them. This is VipeFortBend.com. Are you ready? Ready for anything. For what life throws at you? At your kids. Are they ready to study, research, write papers? To do all the amazing things they don't even know they're capable of yet. Internet Essentials from Comcast brings affordable, high-speed internet to your home for only $9.95 a month. Now available to low-income households eligible for public assistance programs like Medicaid, the National School Lunch Program, SNAP, Housing Assistance, and others. Visit internetessentials.com to apply. No credit check, contract, or installation fee. Taxes, extra restrictions apply.
You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. Side Creek comes up empty on their possession, and Ridgepoint leading by three, gets it quickly down the four. Matthew Lewis high off the glass, no good. Prudhomme the follow. The lead is 39-34, Panthers. Damian Richards moving it up the floor slowly and deliberately. Now Weisinger returns the ball to him. Those two playing catch. Ridgepoint fans chanting D up. There goes Weisinger, stops near the top of the key. Driving toward the right elbow is Richards. And back out to Weisinger, three on the way. No good rebound, Granger for Ridgepoint. Little bit of pressure in the backcourt and now Hill has the ball in his capable hands. Now to Prudhomme. Between the feet dribble gets it back to Hill and Ridgepoint content to let some clock spin off and also wait for a good wide open shot. Rodriguez looking inside, protecting the basketball from Hadnot and there's a whistle. I'm, I'm not sure what that was, maybe a five second call. It wasn't really clear what happened. But the ball belongs to Cy Creek. Cy Creek, by the way, if you're thinking about overtime, they won last Saturday in double overtime over Houston Lamar. Cy Creek has won 19 games in a row coming into this one. We are past the halfway point of this fourth quarter and Ridgepoint is leading 39-34. Weisinger gets the ball to Haynes. Standing still between the rings guarded by Prudhomme. Hands the ball off to Richards. Now Prudhomme picks him up. There goes Ashford along the baseline. Backdoor layup good. That was a beauty. And now a timeout is taken by Cy Creek. We'll take it with him. This is VipeFortBend.com. Are you ready? Ready for anything. For what life throws at you? At your kids. Are they ready to study, research, write papers? To do all the amazing things they don't even know they're capable of yet. Internet Essentials from Comcast brings affordable, high-speed internet to your home for only $9.95 a month. Now available to low-income households eligible for public assistance programs like Medicaid, the National School Lunch Program, SNAP, Housing Assistance, and others. Visit internetessentials.com to apply. No credit check, contract, or installation fee. Taxes, extra restrictions apply. In this high-stakes, high-tension playoff game where Ridgepoint leads 39-36, just a random observation here during the big explosion, the population explosion in the greater Houston area over the last 40-plus years. So many new high schools. You know, we call ourselves the Bio City, but maybe we should call ourselves the Creek City, at least in the suburbs. You've got, in a chronological order, Clear Creek, Side Creek, Shadow Creek, Summer Creek, Caney Creek, and Lake Creek. And I might be missing one. Ridgepoint with a three-point lead and the ball. Prudhomme into the forecourt. Sends a bounce pass cross court to Hill. Now gets it back. And there he goes around Ashford and he lays it up off the glass. Side Creek really with a defensive lapse right there. Nobody helping as Prudhomme broke through the defense. Braylon Haynes has it playing catch with Weisinger. The lead is five for Ridgepoint, 41-36. Here's Damian Richards. Over to Hadnot, now Weisinger, left wing, hold the ball over his head, guarded by Lewis, takes a step to his left, now his right, and he lost his balance, and uh, I mis misidentified the defender, it wasn't Lewis, it was Rodriguez, and he inadvertently put his foot in front of Weisinger, who lost his balance, and the foul called, but Ridgepoint nowhere near over the limit. They only have two fouls in this half, according to the scoreboard. Weisinger inbounds it to Richards, who dribbles with his right hand, wipes his left hand off on the side of his shorts, now gets it over to Hadnot, right wing jumper, no good, the jumpers just are not falling. And it is Ridgepoint ball after Granger grabbed the rebound and a push away from the ball against Side Creek. 
They call the foul on Thurston Ashford. But it's just his first. Ridge Point leading by five. We've got just over two and a half minutes to go. There's Prudhomme. Guarded by Ashford, makes a move to left baseline. Way back out to Hill. Now Lewis makes a move through the free throw circle. Layup from the right side is no good. Rebound Weisinger. Here comes Cy Creek trying to push it. And Caleb Hill on the floor almost stole it away. Now Richards has it. Granger picks him up. Drives the left block. He is fouled on his way to the hoop. But Ridge Point's defense, especially Granger, doing a great job making sure there are no layups and no easy ones. That foul was called on Matthew Lewis, and that's just his first foul of the ball game. Neither team anywhere close to being in the bonus. In and out, no good by Richards. Look out for this Side Creek team, well, not just today, but also in the very near future. Haynes, Richards, had not, and Hilton Harris, all sophomores, and Thurston Ashford is a junior. And now they're having to wipe up a spot on the floor, two spots actually. The winner of this game to face Atascacita, which is celebrating right now a close heart stopper victory, 55 to 54 over Pearland Dawson. Now one more free throw coming for Richards. It's good. The margin is four, 41 to 37. Now here comes the full court press. Prudhomme bounce pass to Hill. Hill dribbling away from traffic, now gets it ahead quickly to Matthew Lewis, and he gets it back to Granger who is blocked. And here comes Hadnot pushing it down the middle. A layup that rattles home good. It's a two point game. Rodriguez inbounds to Prudhomme. Now to Hill. Ridge Point got to play with poise. Rodriguez across the midcourt stripe. Now Granger gets it back to Prudhomme, fakes a pass, drives, now kills his dribbling, gets it back to Rodriguez. Now it's Prudhomme dribbling again. Right now Ashford is staying away from him. And now it is Ashford who reaches in and commits a foul on Prudhomme, but it's on the floor. There are fouls to give for both teams. 133 left. Ridge Point's lead is down to two, and Rodriguez to throw it in right in front of his team's bench. Rodriguez throws it into the backcourt to Prudhomme, which is a good move. Let some time bleed down. Now Rodriguez has it on the far sideline, returns it to Prudhomme. Long cross court pass to Hill. Now it's Rodriguez, guarded by the taller Richards. Makes a move on him. There's a reach in, Richards got away with it. Rodriguez still dribbling, gets the ball to Granger. Now it's Lewis in the right corner, passed up the three. Now dribbles far away from the baseline, back near midcourt, and Prudhomme has his hands on the ball once again. Prudhomme dribbles now, trying to get around Ashford, goes into the paint, into the left corner. There's Lewis, passes up the three. Hill now has it. Ridge Point bleeding down the clock. We're at 48 seconds to go. They lead by two. There goes Prudhomme, stumbles, and he was fouled on his way to the hoop. Again, there are fouls to give. That will not result in free throws. Rodriguez, before he throws the ball in along the baseline, has asked the officials to wipe something up. And now, Ridge Point uh, head coach Terrence Plowden wants a timeout. We'll take it with him. Be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. First Tire Automotive is giving you the chance to say the F word and not get in trouble. What? Yes, the F word as in free. Free alignment with the purchase of four tires or a free air filter with the purchase of a synthetic oil change. Check the website at firsttireandauto.com for all the details and up to 25% off fluid maintenance services. First Tire and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Bike Sports, is there to make sure your ride is safe to and from practice and the games. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugar Land and Cinco Ranch. All stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Nobody who is on the floor right now is in any kind of foul trouble because we've only got 44.2 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Three fouls against Damian Richards. Ridge Point will be inbounding the basketball when we return to action. 
They have that 41-39 lead. I'm sure they want to make it a two-score game. They've got to be very selective about the shot and make sure they take good care of the basketball. Starting right now, Larice Rodriguez to inbound, gets it to Hill. He found the open man. Hill guarded by Weisinger. Now a bounce pass to Prudhomme. That's Haynes on Prudhomme. Almost lost the ball. Now a bounce pass, gets it to Granger. Granger in the corner. And another timeout taken by the Ridge Point Panthers. Correction, it's a foul call, and finally, Cy Creek has exceeded the number of fouls to stay out of the bonus. So, Granger, these are two critical free throws right here. The first one, actually I said two. I assumed he would make the front end of the one and one and make it two shots, and he didn't. So now, Cy Creek with the ball, 23 seconds to go. They're not calling timeout. Two-point lead for Ridge Point. Richards has it, and now Cy Creek takes that timeout. We'll take it with him and be back. This is VikeFortBend.com. The game hanging in the balance. You are the master of the multitask. The champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot, Office Max. Taking care of business. We thank the team at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for their sweet assist all year long. They have been helping us take care of business every week so that we can bring you Fort Bend County sports nearly every day. Seventeen point five seconds left in the game. I think I was looking at the scoreboard clock for the timeout. Now we are in action. Fifteen seconds. Side Creek needs a basket to tie, and Prudhomme, as Ridge Point has a foul to give grabs Weisinger who threw up a shot. The crowd reacted as if it was going to count, but it did not. It was definitely a foul on the floor. Now we're at 12.9 seconds to go. Weisinger to throw the ball in from the near sideline right in front of us. Matthew Lewis telling Hill to move up a little bit closer. Nobody guarding Weisinger as he inbounds it to Richards and gets it right back. Prudhomme is on Weisinger. He's moving to his left, throws a cross-court pass. Richards looking around, long way from the hoop, and another foul to give. And Ridgepoint commits one with 4.4 to go. It will not result in free throws, and now Cy Creek has to come up with a hoop of two points within 4.4 seconds. But not before they call a timeout, and we'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. Don't go away. From first Sunday to Friday after next, Selma to South Central, the beauty shop to the Players Club, we have been Fresh Princes and Baps, Airmen and All-Stars, Players and Presidents. And each and every story is beautifully black, no matter the hue, shade, or tone, because these stories are all our stories. Introducing the Black Experience on Xfinity. It's a new channel, a first of its kind where you choose what's on. So it starts whenever you're ready and it's endorsed by the African American Film Critics Association. It's a place where you can go to learn, to laugh, to educate and uplift. To launch your new experience, just say Black Experience into your Xfinity Voice Remote to instantly enjoy the ultimate in Black entertainment anytime. The Black Experience Channel is the new place to experience our stories, only on Xfinity. Restrictions apply, not available in all areas, requires Xfinity Here we go, 4.4 seconds. If Ridge Point can keep Cypress Creek from scoring right here, they will move on to the regional semifinals. Little more discussion. And now it'll be had not to throw it in. Granger is guarding him this time. Now it's tipped. Prudhomme has it. Throws it down the floor. Ridge Point wins. Ridge Point wins. There's the buzzer. The Panthers have defeated Side Creek. 
They're coming out onto the floor, and it was all about Colby Granger tipping the inbounds pass. It fluttered to Prudhomme, who was smart enough to just fling it down the floor, but not too hard. And the clock expired, and the Ridgepoint Panthers have won. 41 to 39. And I don't know that they necessarily want to do it to do any favors for their rivals, the Travis Tigers. But that kind of avenges the Wednesday night loss that Travis suffered right here on this very floor. Congratulations, Ridgepoint Panthers. You and the Elkins Knights are both moving on to the regional semifinals, but the best part is not against each other. If they each win their next game, it'll be an all Fort Bend ISD Region 36A final. We'll take a break and be back. I have a question. Are you ready? Ready for anything? Ready for what life throws at you? At your kids? Are they ready to study? To research? To write papers? To do all the amazing things they don't even know they're capable of yet. And what about you? Yeah, you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready to take opportunity. To make opportunity? To be on top of things. Internet Essentials from Comcast brings affordable, high-speed internet to your home for only $9.95 a month. Now available to low-income households eligible for public assistance programs like Medicaid, the National School Lunch Program, SNAP, Housing Assistance, and others. When you're connected, you're ready for anything. It's a simple question. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for anything. Visit internetessentials.com to apply. No credit check, contract, or installation fee. Taxes extra. Restrictions apply. First Tire and Automotive is giving you the chance to say the F word and not get in trouble. What? Yes, the F word as in free. Free alignment with the purchase of four tires or a free air filter with the purchase of a synthetic oil change. Check the website at firsttireandauto.com for all the details and up to 25% off fluid maintenance services. First Tire and Automotive, a proud sponsor of Fort Bend Bike Sports, is there to make sure your ride is safe to and from practice and the games. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugar Land and Cinco Ranch. All stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. Our final score, 41-39. to 39. The Ridgepoint Panthers come in here and defeat the Cy Creek Cougars. They end the Cougars' 19-game win streak. They wisely avoided overtime. <laughs> I thought maybe we were going to go into an extra period, but it didn't happen that way. Ridgepoint, with great defense throughout the final couple of minutes, just did not let Cy Creek get that tying or go-ahead basket. This VikeFortBend.com presentation of UIL basketball playoffs has been brought to you by Xfinity. With the X1 Sports app, get up-to-the-minute scores, stats, and standings right on your TV. Change the way you experience TV with Xfinity X1. And by First Tire and Automotive. Make sure your vehicles are in shape for the winter. First Tire and Automotive has locations in First Colony, Greatwood, Katy Cinco Ranch, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. And all four of those locations are open on Saturdays. For the best prices on tires, go to firsttireandauto.com. We also thank for the assist at Office Depot in Sugarland. They have been helping us all season long take care of business. Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace has been helping us take care of business so that we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. In fact, there are a few weeks where it felt like we were bringing you a game every single day, and we're gonna keep doing that as long as we can. You know, we got basketball, 
We got two teams left standing, the Ridgepoint Panthers boys and the Elkins Knights both coming through with clutch wins today. Ridgepoint just beat Side Creek 41 to 39 and the Elkins Knights 55 to 45 winners over Houston Heights. So next week, we don't know when, although it will probably be Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday. Ridgepoint is gonna be taking on Atascacita, the same team that they, they bounced out of the football playoffs. That was a beautiful day over at TDECU Stadium. I'm sure Atascacita's basketball team will want to exact a measure of revenge for what happened that glorious day. And then you got the Elkins Knights, and they are going to be taking on Summer Creek, which on this very floor, right before Ridgepoint won, they pulled off what most people would think of as an upset win over the Shadow Creek Sharks. Speaking of Shadow Creek Sharks, their girls are on the floor warming up right now. Well, you know, I'm feeling so good today. Our two, Ridge, uh, our two uh, Fort Bend teams won today, and we were on kind of a, a losing streak. You know, last Saturday night ended with the Fulshire girls getting knocked out by Manville. And then on Tuesday, Bush blew a big lead against Heights and lost at Hobson Fieldhouse when they never should have. They lost in overtime. Then on Wednesday, Travis beaten by the Side Creek boys. And then in the night cap, the Dulles girls, well, they lost to Tompkins. So I was starting to wonder, Am I ever going to see a win again? And then last night here at Merrill, the Foster girls ended up losing to College Station. So we were on a losing streak, but that has all changed with the clutch performances of the Elkins Knights and the Ridgepoint Panthers. So thank you very much for being with us on VibeFortBend.com. We're your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. We will let you know when we're going to broadcast next, but we know we'll have two games next week. We've got to find a way for these two teams, Elkins and Ridgepoint, to not play at the same time. We want them to play maybe on the same night in the same place, one after another. I'm just rattling on because I'm so giddy right now. Congratulations Knights, congratulations Panthers, and good night to all of you. We love you, this is VibeFortBend.com. Our final score from here at Merrill, Ridgepoint 41, Side Creek 39. Good night everybody.